do not be deceived God cannot be mocked in 2007 I was tired of in this case now my financial condition I remember I went for a conference pastor I really was sad not because I'm not a materialistic person at all but poverty is bad whether you are materialistic or not it is, it is wicked and demonic let me tell you why poverty is bad because it interrupts the well-being of your life and the advancement of the program of God if poverty were neutral I would not have any problem with it but it can interrupt you in a way that even sickness will not interrupt you but I remember that night it was a prosperity convention people gave I was outside when I went home the Lord gave me an instruction to give literally everything I had I'm not calling for seats don't worry listen I got up that morning 3 p.m. God is my witness carried it was not so much I had but I was I was determined wishing to rise is wasting your time Desire is important, but it's only the first step. Desire must intermeddle with wisdom to profit you. And with wisdom, there must be action. The Bible calls it well-doing, more than well-thinking, more than well-wishing. There must be a doing for it to be called sowing. And I made up my mind. I remember the next, I prayed for three hours, laid my hands on that, whatever it is, my, my bag, I got up and I dragged it to church. I got to church and there, it was an overflow like this. I was outside. People came and were dropping seeds on the altar. And now I stayed back there. God just instructed me to remain there. When everybody had dropped it, God said, I can now go to the altar. I carried that bag and I was dragging it. With every step I knew I was dying. There, you see, it's easy to give Ishmael. But if it is Isaac Bar. You must be a man of faith. I took that thing and I dropped it at the altar. I went back and I sat down. I say this with every sense of humility and responsibility. The Holy Spirit spoke to me expressly and said, Son, from this day you have entered wealth. Nothing happened immediately. Don't think my life changed. It was the same, same thing there. That was a seed. There are seeds that are called precious seeds. He that weepeth, bearing precious seeds, shall doubtless return again rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. I look back today and I just laugh. I say, my God, what if I disobeyed that day? What if I loved my yesterday more than my tomorrow? Like many of you now love your today more than tomorrow. Remember, the Bible says for our light afflictions, which is what for a moment, it walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory. I remember a time when the Lord instructed me for 72 hours. I locked myself praying nonstop. My eyes did not see whether it was morning or afternoon or evening. Ah, you are just lucky. Hallelujah. After that time, I said, Lord, wherever you want to use me, I'm available that you can use me for your glory. Those times, then there was no internet like this and it was a cafe. I would get a fluffy disc and go and, I didn't have the money to pay and browse anytime I liked. And then in the night it seemed to, to browse faster so I would go there in the night and spend night vigils downloading messages and teachings that will help me because I was desperate to grow not competition not ministry Jesus 